Oh, shit. <clears throat> That's, I don't know what was going on. Hey guys, how are you doing? We got some calls to make. Hey Matthew. Thanks, honey. Yes, I remember Donna. Why? Is she all right? Oh, thank you, Maddie. Yes, I'm married, honey. What do I look like to you? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going, but let me just say real quick, I got 11 spots open. If you want me to do a call for you today, go to the link tree. If you're a regular here and people ask how they get a call, can you just tell them, click on the link tree and order a prank call for this live right now? That's the one you want to get. Spread the word for me, honey. Power to the people. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, David. Yes, I'm good. I'm extra good. Here we go. Okay, here we go. This one will be good if they answer. Thank you, fish milk. Hello, this is Sue. I'm trying to get in touch with Sabrina. That be all hung up on me. Who does that? Who hangs up on somebody when they say their name? God. The tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello. I don't know why you hung up on me, Sabrina. I know it's you. You're the one with that trashy maroon car. Your house looks like it's falling apart. There's a broken window out front. <laughs> It's just awful out here. The grass is as tall as I've ever seen. Looks like you live in a damn jungle, honey. Get it together. This is bad. I'm about to call the city of Albion. I'm gonna do it. You need to get it mowed and, and make this place look presentable. I have a date coming over tonight, and he's gonna think I'm from some kind of place where you're just... A mess, and that's what it looks like with your house. We, it's bringing down the property value. You're ruining the curb appeal. Shit. Maybe she'll call me back. I hope she does. If you want me to do a call for you, go ahead and put it in the link tree. I'm taking care of business this Saturday. If you've got a grievance with somebody, give it to me, honey. Go visit the link tree and put in a request. 
I don't do child support shit, though. I don't want to get involved with your baby daddy, okay? It's got to be some stuff with respect on it. Thank you for the quirky ass, Lindsay. Oh, thank you, honey, for the... Thank you, Spirit Owl and Nietzsche. Baby, thank you, honey. I like, I like those little things you're sending me. Thank you, Dawn. Frankie, Mama's working. Get you a good one, honey. Don't be a wreck. Frankie, get your ass in here. Hi, sorry, I missed your call. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Dawn. Frankie! Frankie! Come here, baby. Frankie. Come on, baby. There's nothing to bark at in there. Come sit by mama. Yeah, come on. Good. This is Frankie. He's a long one. Just leave your name and number and I'll call you back. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Lindsay. Okay, let's do one more call. I just wanted to know how he's doing. Um, me and Chris have been seeing each other, and last I heard, he had herpes. Is he better? And when did y'all want to get together and, and do a, a threesome? Because he told me that was in the works, and he told me he broke the news to you that we were seeing one another. Just to let me know. I don't normally do the cheating calls, but this woman has home wrecked three of her best friends. 
So, I'm not the moral police, but I decided it was fine. All right, honey, if you got somebody you need me to call, you can put an order in in the link tree, okay? I think I've got a couple of people that sent one in. Thank you for doing so. I got two more calls of videos, and then I'm going to be getting on your call, okay? Oh, man, they said Monday through Saturday, 11 to 3. Sunday, okay. Okay. All right, next up. Okay, we got one more. Then we're doing your live one. Okay, hold on. Frankie, we've already been over this, babe. Okay. Here we go. Hopefully we'll get us to get in this time. I gotta go to this website. <coughs> I know that the election's coming up and everybody is very stressed about what they're gonna do. You know, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do. You're going to vote for Sue Dillon. Sue Dillon, 2024. Let's make Virginia slim again, honey. We are going to abolish all of the strict, strict penalties and regulations on tobacco. We aren't getting rid of the menthol. They know that the only ones that really even care about the menthol are the African Americans and the women. And let me put it straight to you. We ain't getting rid of that shit. Go ahead and put me in, honey. Write in my name, because we need some sense, we need some estrogen, and we need a pair of titties behind the Oval Office desk. Anyway. If you want one of them bumper stickers, go check out my merch on my link tree. It's at the very top. You gotta click the button. Frankie, I'm tired of it. I'm sorry, my dogs are barking. <coughs> they won't shut the hell up. Oh my god. Hold on a second. Let me shut the door. Let me get some privacy for us. Y'all are barking at nothing. They bark when the wind blows, I swear. 
but I wanted to ask about the naughty paddle. Um, I was wanting to inquire about getting an appointment made. How much does it cost for per lick? Because me and my husband want to know before we purchase one thing over the other. We didn't know how much we needed to expect to bring. Do you have options for like leather whips and stuff or is it just like a wooden paddle? I don't know. Um, are we supposed to spank each other with it or are you going to spank us? How does that work? If you don't care to call me back and let me know, I would appreciate it. Bye, honey. Okay, I'm sorry about the dogs. It's hard for me to control them whenever I am alone in the home doing these calls, so please. I don't want to hear nothing about it. It's bothering me, too. Okay? When I'm in there, they listen to me, and they quit. But when I ain't, they know I ain't gonna get my ass up and go in there off the show to mess with them. So I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, Sue, you don't take care of your dogs. Shut the hell up, Biatch. You don't know what I do with my dogs. I give my life to these dogs. Thank you, Jim. I'm gonna have to go get them and put them in here. I can't deal with this. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'll be right back and then we're getting into it. I won't bust their ass. I'm just kidding. I don't bust their ass. But I would if I was. Come here. That's enough. you're doing is wrong. You know. Y'all have to stay in here now. Shame on you both. Went in there. Winston was... He knew what he was doing. <sighs> okay. Where are my earrings? <clears throat> I think I moved them, and I need, I don't have them on my set today, but tomorrow I'll make sure to get them back. I'm sorry. Okay, we're moving on. No. Not in here, sir. Winston, come up here. Oh, that's so much fun, Lindsay. Come here, Winston. Let's show them to you. I don't know why, but we also call him Boong. Boonga Bear. Boong for short. He answers to both. I don't know where that came from, but that's what we call him half the time. Okay, I'll let you go. You better shut the hell up, Winston. You know you're not barking at nothing. I got Winston first. No, not in here. There's nothing out there. I looked out the window, there's nothing. They're barking at the wind. Okay, here we go. Um, Amber's first. We are still accepting calls for this live, I believe. If you want to put one in, go ahead. message 
HQ and on his bone. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic... I love you, baby. I do. I love you so much. We call three times and leave a voicemail. And on Fridays, we do holler back. So if they call me back and leave me a voicemail or text me, we'll call them. Hi, honey. This is Sue. I'm a new neighbor out here, and things are going to have to change in this neighborhood trying to get an HOA started up because nobody's mowing their yards in a timely manner. It's embarrassing. Somebody asked me if I moved into a low-income neighborhood. I said, no, I paid good money for this house. They said, well, it looks like a dump here. I said, I know. I know when it shouldn't be. You need to mow your yard. It's awful out here. And there's a dog that's been running around. I'm trying to figure out whose it is. It's been shitting in my yard every day. If you could please let me know if it's yours. I will be pressing charges if it don't get cleaned up. Bye. Call me back. If they, if I see numbers call me back on this live and I'm not in the middle of a call, I will answer it, okay? Red Fern, it's your turn, honey. If you have a call request, put it in on the link tree, honey. <coughs> okay. Red Fern, where are you from? Is this American or is this Canadian? Or, where is this from? Also, it should be known that my phone is not, my international calling phone is not working. If this is in it, let me just try it. Country. I'm gonna have to refund you because my international phone is not working and I'm sorry. My husband needs to fix it. I forgot to tell him to do that yesterday. Okay. Nicole. Oh, we're getting a call back. Hello. Hi, who's this? This is Sue. Did you get my message? I did. You just left a very rude message. I'm sorry that you took it that way. Where, where are you even from? You around my neighborhood? Which house are you? I live a couple of houses down from you. Are you that trashy blue house? With a fucking dog that won't stop barking? And you're going to call and complain about my car and my driveway? First off, my, my house ain't trashy. Second house of all, second of all, my dog is only barking because y'all won't shut the hell up. Your dog's barking because he's fucking gay. You can't come talk to me about my car. It only doesn't start because the battery's dead. Did you say my dog is gay? Your dog is gay. I seen him sniffing my dog's freaking butt the other day. What does and that matter if he chooses gay, to okay? be gay? What does that even matter? It matters because you called me complaining about my car. It's Pride Month. It, only if you think it is. Don't be a bigot. Don't be an old hag. You know what? Maybe I'll come down right now and confront you and you and your gay dog. I don't give a shit, honey. I'm a lesbian. Of 
course you are. That makes perfect sense. You, so your yard is a hot mess, and you know it, and you're just deflecting this on me because you don't want to take ownership. You're a hot mess. Why don't you smoke another one? What did you say your name was? My name is Sue, and I am smoking another one right now. Very, thank I you very you much. Are. I bet you are, Sue. I yeah, you're get go over it. Tetris on your computer or some stuff. I don't play computer. Tetris. I don't play that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't do, do any video games. It's bad for you. Why is it bad for you? It's bad for my cataracts. Your cat? You're smoking because your cataracts, isn't it? Because that ain't none of your damn business. You stay out of my HIPAA business. It's HIPAA. It's against your. It's none of your business. Stay out of it. I'm not a doctor. HIPAA doesn't apply to me. It applies to every living being. It applies to every living being. It doesn't apply to me because I'm not a doctor. Yes, it does. It does apply to you. Leave me the hell alone, lady. You leave me alone. You call me talking about my car. Don't ever call me again. You don't call me again. Don't ever call this number again. You don't ever call me again. I don't want to hear you tell me to do nothing. I don't want you to talk nothing about my house and my window and my car ever again. You know it's a hot mess. That's why you're deflecting it on me. You're a hot mess. I don't give a shit. About their house. I don't give a shit what you think. You got that stupid trashy blue house down there anyway. Okay, well, th down. you know what? We both know what we think of each other, so that's good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You just stay down there three houses down or wherever the hell you are. I will. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Again. Yeah, you know, you don't ever need to call this number again. I'm gonna come knock on your door and slap the shit out of you. So now you're threatening me physically. Mm hmm. I will if you talk about my house again. You just did. <laughs> you're gonna talk about my house again right now? I'm just shocked. Uh, you should be. You're gonna open your eyes. I gotta get off here because I'm doing something. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Smoke another one. I will. And it won't be mm -hmm. for you. And you what? It won't be for you either. Mm-hmm. It will be. You enjoy it. Bye. Uh, I think she knew as well. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay. This is a TikToker. My throat is doing better. I'm just congested. Honey, I got snot coming out of my mouth every five minutes. Thank you, Tammy. The wireless customer you are calling is not available. Please try again later. Somebody for Nicole. I'm calling somebody from Nicole. The rotary phone is not working. It needs to be serviced. The wireless customer you are calling is not available. Please try again later. <coughs> All right, Nicole. Email me an alternate request, honey. It's not working. If you want me to call somebody for you, put in a request on the link tree. Jessica, it's your turn, honey.
Hello, is this D? I'm sorry? I need to speak with D. My name is Sue. I'm a neighbor. Okay. Shut up! Mama's on the phone. Your cat's been running around in a lot of our yards. I'm talking on behalf of a lot of the neighbors. Stop. That cat outside. The cat of yours has been hidden in all of our yards and it's got to be put to a stop. The shitter on that critter is crazy. It needs to stop. It is your cat, dude. We've all talked to each other. It's none of our cats, and we've summed it down to being your cat. Well, it just showed up here. Well, you've been feeding it. My daughter's been feeding it. Well, then it's your cat, dude. Well, what do you want me to do? This is what's wrong with America. Nobody wants to take ownership for the animals they're feeding from their doorsteps. And they can't fend for themselves in the wild, and they become domesticated and shit in all of our lawns. And who is this? My name is Sue. Um, Sue Van Cleave? Sue Dillon. Who's Sue Van Cleave? Well, I don't know no neighbor named Sue Dillon. Right. <sighs> Go get me another Bud Light, baby. Bertie, what's your address? I live a few houses down from you. Like by the Barnetts? Yeah, me and them are very close, and they've been having the same issue with that cat of yours. It even climbed on Mr. Barnett's vehicle. Do you want me to, I mean, how will I get rid of the cat? I don't know. You don't need to get rid of it. Just let it inside and quit letting it run around. Get it a litter box. Oh, it's... no, I don't do that. I will never have a cat in my house. Sorry. I don't know, but I'm about to set a log trap out. And if I catch it, you're going to have to pay me $500 to get this thing back. <laughs> well, you can keep it. Okay. I'm not going to keep it, honey. Well, I don't even know how you got my number, Sue. But I'm sorry about the cat. That cat just showed up. My daughter loves cats. She's not going to let it go hungry. But we don't own the cat. We never purchase the cat. We don't take the cat to the veterinarian. And maybe what's wrong with the world today is I don't know what's wrong with just having a cat in the neighborhood. Because it pisses and shits in all of our yards. It's messy. I'm sure sorry about all that. Well, thanks for apologizing, at least. I'll talk to my daughter and see if she wants to, you know, what she can think of to do different. Thank you. Maybe put a diaper on it. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's what we'll do. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye. She was nice. She was. Okay, let's call Brienne. Hello? Hi, honey. Is this Jen? Yes, it is. Your <coughs> son's been throwing rocks over the brick wall and it's been breaking my shit. Your son has been throwing rocks over the brick wall and breaking my shit. My son where? It's, a, uh, it's somewhere by Christensen Park. My, we're not in town. Well, he's been doing this over the past few weeks, and I'm just now getting around to calling you. Okay, I'll talk to him about it. I'm going to need a replacement. For the box that was holding my Avon stuff, it was a plastic acrylic box, and now it's ruined. And so when I take it to clients' houses, I look like I'm from the damn somewhere that isn't where I'm from. I don't know. I look like I don't have no senses. I invested a lot of money into this acrylic box to hold my merchandise, and nobody's okay. going to take me seriously now that it's cracked. Okay. I will talk 
to him and take care of it. And he's going to have to come remove the rocks. He's lucky it didn't hit my Ford Fiesta. Okay. Uh, like I said, I'd be happy to talk to him about it. Thank you. I'm getting a lot of people in trouble today. Hold on, I'm sorry. Let's try this one for Nicole again. The wireless customer you are calling is... Okay, that one is just not going to work. I just sent it back, honey. I don't like to do refunds because they cost me money. So make sure the person you're getting me to call is going to answer. Or is going to have a phone number that I can reach, rather. Okay. Alright, we got a few spots open if you got somebody good for me to get. Um, we got four more spots open available. We got a few more to do, but we got four more spots open, okay? Jordan, it's your turn. Thank you guys for the roses. Thank you, Marnie and Anna. Hello, is this Trent? Yes, it is. How may I help you? Hi, Trent. My name is Sue. I don't know if, if you remember me. I I know your dad, Joe, really well. We're cousins. Okay, what can I help you with? I just wanted to see how y'all are doing. I ain't talked to Joe in a long time. I mean, we're, we're pretty good. I do live a good life. We wake up every day, so not much to complain about. That's true. Are y'all getting in anything fun this weekend? Uh, I just work all weekend, so I don't really do much outside of work. Well, that sucks. Have you heard from your dad? Yeah. yeah. I talked to him earlier. Is he seeing anybody? He's married for like 12 years. I, th I thought he was probably still married. Oh, yeah. I lost my virginity to your dad, Joe. We dropped the call. Let me call him back. Oops, the call got dropped. It got disconnected. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to me. But he's going to be talking to his daddy, ain't he?
Okay, we got one for Autumn. I can't do international calls right now. This is the call. This is the international phone, and it isn't working. I've got to reset it, and my husband has the app on his phone. And I've got to get him to do it tomorrow. Has to be done tomorrow, but um, for now, it's not not able. But you can request on Linktree if you're from the U.S. and you want me to call somebody for you. Autumn, this one's for you. Hello. Hello, is this Joyce? Yes, ma'am. I'm one of your neighbors down the street, and we've been ma talking. What's what? your name? My name is Sue. Sue. Sue Dillon. Sue Dillon. What about you, everybody? I live, um... About, I think, three houses down from you, I believe. Okay, the Armstrongs on that side or on the yes, Denny's side? the Armstrong side. I've talked to the Armstrongs, actually, and the Denny's. And oh. we all have collectively agreed that your grass is getting too tall. We would oh, like if you could mow I, it more frequently. Well, what it is, my son's got my equipment. He won't let me have it back. So I had to get me a lawyer, and I've got to pay $800 to get Johnny Howard to go get all my equipment, or he's going to sell it. He's giving me 10 days. No but shit. But I'm real bad sick. I have uh, passed out. Uh, my son brought me, took me to his house and was trying to get me better, and he's just screwed me over. What an I asshole. Know, yeah, he is a big one. And um, so I had to hire me a lawyer to get it because the law kept telling me it's a civil matter. So, um. I went and got me a lawyer, finally got some money. Now i got to get some money to get the stuff home if I can. But uh, my granddaughter... Well, don't even uh, worry about it, honey. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's that's okay. Um, my granddaughter said, the lady, did you talk to Autumn Joy Shiflett? I did. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah. She said that there was a lady that wanted a lot. I've got a lot, 8A. Um, it's a big stump there. I had a tree cut down because I was scared it's going to fall on our trailer. And this guy is supposed to get it up. But when you hire somebody, they take the money and go. So I've learned my lesson not to do that no more. Well, do you have a cash app or something? Maybe I can send you some something to help with the... <laughs> no, baby, I don't have no kind of app or nothing. But if you're down the road, you can come look at it if you want to. Uh... The lots should be ready because there was a camper there here a while back and he left me owing a bill. So all the Wait. lights has got to be put in your name if you do decide. Everybody else's, but there's two people in here that hadn't paid their lot bill and I'm having to pay it because they're going to turn mine off. Were they so, the one dumping the garbage? Yeah. <laughs> do you have an iPhone, honey? Huh? Do you have an iPhone? No, ma'am, I got this in my room now. I don't know what it is. Uh, my granddaughter bought it for me because I don't, I don't do very well on phones. But anyways. Um, you don't got nothing to send money? No, I don't have nothing like that. I don't know how to do that. I'm, I'm a, like a dumb box. Or two boxes a lot. So when it comes to loans or things well, like that, I pay my bills. Now. I That's know you I do. do I know. Is Are they the ones dumping the garbage? No, no, they're not. Now, the ones that, uh, what are you talking about dumping garbage? The, somebody that was telling me that somebody on your property's been dumping garbage. It's oh. shitting in the bushes. I know that. I, well, I know they better get it cleaned up. If I spot it, they'll have to pay a penalty because I don't, I don't allow garbage out. In, they, now, there's two people in here that's got a garbage can. But, uh, I don't know. Well, what's your... Hold on a second. Let me get y'all speaker. What's your address? Maybe I can mail you a check or something. I want to help you out. You seem like a good woman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.
What's your, what's the zip code, honey? Okay, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a prank caller, and somebody had me prank call you over this. I didn't realize all this was going on in your life, though. I don't like prank calling people with real problems. Um, we just call people to be funny. I'm sorry. But are you looking for a spot? No. You're not? No, honey. Oh. Okay. No, but let let me try to help you out. I might send you a check in the mail. Okay, baby. And what'd you say your name again was? My name is Sue Dillon. You can look me up and find me okay. online. My husband lives with his daughters because he had a stroke in 19, 2019. And then I got sick in October and I've been sick. Uh, I got uh, cirrhosis of the liver. They gave me two years to live. And uh, it's just been one thing after another over here on this hill. And then my son does me this away and it's just it's all I can do to take care of my own self. So. What is your last name, Joyce? Robinson. Okay. Do you know a James Wendell Robinson? I don't know. I'm not from the area. I didn't know if he had any know of going to church out there with him because he goes out there at Jan Bean's church. And, um, I don't know if you know her or not either, so. I don't know, honey, but I gotta get off here. I hope you have a good rest of your evening. I'm sorry. Okay. You have a blessed day too, baby, okay? And thank you for calling me. Bye, honey. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, I don't know how to do this, but I have her P.O. box. I will... I think this is what we'll do. No, because TikTok takes like 60% of the gifts. Um, let me just make a thing on my link tree that you can donate to and whatever we get from it, I will send it to her and I will make a video about it even if you want me to. If you don't think I'm actually going to send the money, I can make you a video showing the check. I don't know. <coughs> Um, I don't want to just do Cash App. I don't like people getting my Cash App because then they share my Cash App. Or no, because then they request through the Cash App and I don't do Cash App requests. So, let me just do this real quick. What was her name? I've already forgot her. I'm so bad with names, honey. Joyce. I'll just set it at like five dollars and you can add a tip if you want to if you wanted to donate more than five dollars it don't go to me it'll just all go to her i can track how much we get i put it on link tree right now It's called Joy's Donation. It's up. It should work. Oh, wait. It says sold out. Hold on. Let me... <laughs> okay, now it should work. Okay. All right, let's keep going. That's up if you want to utilize it. If you don't, that's fine. It should work now. Let me see. It ain't sold out no more. It's good to go. Refresh the page, maybe. Okay.
Okay, next up is Nakia. Thank you for the corgi as morning. Thank you, Marnie. Hello? May I speak with Robbie? Yes, him. I came across your distasteful ad on social media. Shh. Of Robbie Burney, if you would leave your name and number, I'll call you back. He just screened the call. Thank you, Princess. He won't even let me leave a message. I'm going to text him. I'm going to say, ah, came across. I hate texting on this thing. Bah. Across your ad. You should be ashamed of yourself riding a horse like that. That poor animal deserves better. I had to say it. Okay, let me see if it's sold out. Yeah, we're sold out for the live, but I'm going to finish it out, honey. All right, Sierra. I'm sorry, I'll take off the charging for shipping. Please leave your message for... Uh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know that, but... All of the money, no matter if it's charging for shipping, is going towards this woman, I promise. But... Let me fix it so you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Hi, is this April? Yes, it is. April, um, this is an intervention. 
You, you took something out of my trash can that I didn't mean to throw away, and I'm going to need it back. I took a what? I said, you took something out of my trash that I need back. It was a family heirloom. It actually has my mother's ashes inside of it. I took something? Yes, you were rumbling in my trash. On the side of the road, it wasn't trash, trash. It was just some stuff I was throwing out. Didn't mean to put something in there, I think, that you took. It had my mother's ashes in it. I have no idea what you're talking about. When and where did I do this? Um, I live down the road from you, and you're always taking the free stuff that the neighbors sit out. And I get it, but I'm going to need it back. It's got my mother's ashes in it. And she's going to haunt your ass if you don't give it back. I'm calling from down the road. Down the road where? Just down the road from you, honey. This is giving me anxiety. My bowels are acting up. I'm on the commode. I just want my mother's ashes back. <laughs> I'm sorry. My belly hurts. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Sue. My name is Sue Dillon. I have no idea who you are. <coughs> I don't know what country you're from. I'm from Straight the United from States country. of America. <coughs> my belly is tearing oh, up. Shit. I need my mother's ashes back. I need them back. Okay. <coughs> okay. This one is for the famous Lindsay Shelton, a.k.a. Scrub Hax. Sorry for the wait, Lindsay. I hope you're still here. <coughs> okay. Classic dog shit. Forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine one eight. Okay. Um, I think I fixed the taxes. I it was adding taxes and it was I took the shipping thing off, so I don't know why it was charging shipping for some and not others. Let's call again for Lindsay. Earlier, there was a woman that we called that was having a hard time. Didn't realize she was having a hard time until we started the prank. Happens. But we're trying to do right by the world. I'm going to mail her a check. She has no other way to send her money. Everybody wants to donate some stuff that was listening to the call. So I opened a section on my link tree that you can donate to. $5 minimum donations. And you can add tips and do more if you want. You don't have to, but if you want to, I will do a video showing proof that I'm sending all of the funds, plus some from myself, probably, um, to give this woman. I'm going to mail it to her on Monday. <clears throat> we can't send her money right now because she has a flip phone like me, I think, or like a pay prepaid phone, no iPhone. And no ability to have Venmo or Cash App or nothing. And I won't leak her address because that's creepy. So I will send it. I will be the vessel. That's why we're doing it that way. Alright, one more call for Lindsay and Lindsay. Then we're going to leave a voicemail. 
I hope she answers me, Lindsay. And if she don't, when we get together for the podcast, we can prank call anybody you want to. You didn't even need to buy a prank call. Alright, I'm gonna leave a message. Somebody stole her lawnmower, her son, and she has tall grass. She said something about her washer messing up, and she has cirrhosis, and she's got two years to live or something. I really think it was real, too. Hi, Lauren. This is Sue. I'm a neighbor out here of yours, and I've been talking with the other neighbors. We're really upset. Um, You've been letting your dog shit in other everybody's yards and you're not cleaning it up it's one thing to let it shit in the yard and clean up with a grocery sack it's another to just leave it and that's what you're doing and it's wrong we all collectively are asking you to please do your service and clean up the dog shit have a blessed day and like we told her it was a prank but she didn't get it. I think she actually was like older and didn't understand. All right, Raymond. I can, yes, I'll make a video and post it Monday evening and let you know how much we raised and what happened. Hello, is this Ron? Hello. Ron. Ron, this is Sue. I have a bone to pick with you. Say what? I have a bone to pick with you, Ron. Who's this? This is Sue Dillon. Who? Sue. Yeah? I'm a neighbor of yours, Ron. No, you don't. Yes, I am, and that F-150 of yours is way too loud. You're waking up my grandbabies in the night. Oh, really? You need to get a muffler thing on that. Okay, lady, you got the wrong damn number. No, Ron, I got the right number. You need to open your ears up and listen. It's way too loud. It's on the link tree on my profile. It says, order a prank call here, but you can see all my other shit when you get on there. It's the very, is it the very top? No. Yes, it is. It's above my merch link. It's the very top. It says Joyce Donation. Okay, we got two more. This one's for Joshua. Two on a bowling team would be something else.
have reached three. Hello, may I speak with Denise? <clears throat> Speaking. Hi, Denise. This is Sue with the cruise line. We're just calling to update everybody that's coming on the ship. We've had some issues on the past trips with people flushing exorbitant amounts of toilet paper. And so we're asking you to invest in a, in a sanitary wipe to wipe with when you go number two and throw it in the trash. Toilet paper is stopping up the septic tank of the ship and we're losing space and it's really bad we're having to dump the sewage in the ocean when that happens it's very bad for the manatees okay, okay. so just buy some dude wipes or something i can send you some coupons for some sanitary wipes that we've got five dollars off of dude wipes that's okay okay we really appreciate your cooperation with this denise no problem. You wouldn't believe the complaints I've gotten just by asking this. I said in Europe, they all wipe their asses and throw the toilet paper in the trash. Right. I, I'm at a family function right now, so I'm going to let you go. Okay, Denise. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I like that call. I'm going to save it. Okay, I think we just have one more. Oh, thank you, Sirius the Pit, for the money gun. Okay, this one's for Haley. Oh, wait, we're getting a call. <coughs> Hello? Hi there. My name is Lauren. I was just giving you a call back. Oh, did you get my message, Lauren? Yes, ma'am. Good. Um, uh, I, I just wanted to call back and apologize. So, I always have bags with me, and I always try to pick her up, pick it up just from her walks. Um, and I think there has been once or twice where I did run out of bags and I should have gone back and pick it up. And so that's on my, that's my fault, but it was not my intention to, to like hurt other people's yards or be disrespectful. Um, but I did want to call you back and apologize because that wasn't my intention at all. Um, I do have bags with me and I pick her, pick up her poop with them. Okay, I appreciate the apology. You're calling at a bad time, Lauren. I'm on the commode right now, so I apologize for the sounds. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, no, I, I had no idea. I'm sorry. But I just I just saw your calls, and I, got, I just got your message, and I was just giving you a call back. I forgive you, honey. Thank you for being honest and, and committing to cleaning up this shit. Yes, ma'am. Can I ask you a question just out of curiosity? It just, I genuinely want to, just curious. Okay. Can I ask you how you found my phone number? Oh, you know, like online, you can pay for them apps. If you put someone's address or their tag number in, it'll tell you their whole life. It'll tell you if they've been arrested and everything. You should look into it. Oh, okay. I pay ten ninety nine a month for it. It's a little oh. expensive, but I use it all the time when I need to get in touch with people because it is hard to find people's phone numbers nowadays. Now there's no phone books you can just look up people's names in, you know. you got to have this to get in touch with people. So that makes sense. Um, okay. Um, well, I think that's all I need or if there's anything, like, uh, can I ask, like, like who... Uh, like, I, don't know, like, I need to apologize to you because I lied when I said everybody's mad. It's just me that's mad. Okay, that's okay. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that wasn't my intention at all. Um, I because I do keep bags with me. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. 
my stomach is killing me. That's fine. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll leave you alone. I just, all, all I wanted to do is just call back and apologize. And if there's anyone else I need to speak to, I absolutely will. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Okay. I hope you have a nice day. You too, baby. Bye-bye. Bye. I hope Lindsay saw that. I bet she's gone now. Okay. Oh, we were calling somebody for Nicole. Or for Haley. Haley, you put a request in. <laughs> she was apologizing, apologizing for letting her dog shit in her yards and not cleaning it up. I'm going to text Lindsay and tell her. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Requests for this live are full, but you can request for tomorrow's so show, Sundays with Sue. It's still got some openings, honey. Sundays with Sue starts at 6 p.m. Central. Um, it goes from like 6 to 8.30 and it'll be done between that time frame. You can pre-book now. On the link tree. I can do international calls. It'll be back up tomorrow. Today, my international phone was down. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. It'll be back up tomorrow. I promise you that. Well, I shouldn't promise. As far as I know, it'll be back. If it ain't, then I'll make it right with you. Hello? Hello, is this Nicole? Who is this? It's Sue. I was wondering if I could come over and pet your cat. I'm sorry, who? My name is Sue. How do I know you? Well, I know you through a friend, and she said you have a lovely cat, and I'm looking into getting a cat, and she said I should just call you and ask if I can pet your cat. And who is her friend? Her name, her name is Haley. And I'm sorry, she told you to call me regarding what? She said I could call and ask if I could pet your cat. And you said Haley told you this? Yeah, she said you're really friendly. Okay, that may be true, but I'm sorry. This is really, uh, really outrageously concerning and a request. I and just the wanna... fact is that she would give you my number without even consulting me first is also really disturbing. You know Haley Smith, right? No, I do not know who that is. Oh. Okay, and who are you looking for? I was looking for you, Nicole. I just want to pet your cat. Okay, and what is Haley's phone number? I don't feel comfortable giving it to you because you seem a little spiky. Okay, well, obviously she felt comfortable with giving it to my number to you, so then you should feel comfortable with giving me her number, correct? She was nice. Okay, but do you understand how, how like, crazy this is? No, and I a don't. a stranger is calling somebody to pet my cat, but I have no idea who this is or anything like this. I, know, I don't even know where you live. I was going to ask for your address. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, but anyways, if it was vice versa and somebody called you a, a stranger again three times in a row. I only called three times, honey. I thought maybe the first time you had your phone on, do not disturb, and then go through the second time, and then usually the telemarketers don't matter. call a third if it's time. On do not disturb or not. That still does not give you the uh, the right to even call back again. I have my rights because it's a free country, honey. I'm sorry that you don't agree with that. And you don't give the people the right to have their own life and choose when and not to answer their phone call? If you don't answer after again, three, I quit time calling. That you called, that was still the thing, and then you called again the third time. If you don't answer after the third, I'll let it go, honey. Yeah, I'm going to have to.
to have you totally block this number. And yes, I need you to send me Haley's number. No. No, yeah. I will not. Yeah. I absolutely will not. Okay, but again, she had the audacity to give you my phone number, so then you should give me her phone number. Absolutely, that's not how it works. Because I need to take this up with her, because again, if she's my quote-unquote friend, then I should be able to take this up with her, correct? Well, Haley Smith ain't batshit crazy, so I'm not giving, that's the difference. She is absolutely batshit crazy if she gives you somebody's number, then again, she has no idea who the f who the f is giving it to. Are you flipping kidding me? I just wanted to pet your cat. It's not that deep. Shit. 